guys in this video we'll be looking at pressure its relationship with force and its relationship with area as well as some applications of pressure in our daily lives so stay tuned let's start with the definition of pressure Pressure is force per unit area. What area are we talking about? So pressure can only be applied when there is a surface that is, the force is acting on a surface. So if we are pressing against a surface, then there is a pressure exerted on the surface. If you're just holding out my thumb like this, there is no pressure exerted anywhere. There needs to be a surface for there to be pressure. And the area that we, talk, we are talking about is the area of contact with the surface. So if I am talking about the pressure exerted by my thumb onto my palm, then it is the area of contact between my thumb and my palm. This is the area here. This is the surface area. And the force, it can be many different, whatever type of force. If we have an object resting on a table, then the pressure exerted on the table is due to the force, which is its weight. The weight of the object is the one that is acting on the table, and that is the force. Pressure is force per unit area. The units for pressure that's normally used is newtons per meter squared. This is if force, force will be in newtons, the unit of force is newton. Unit of area is normally meter squared, so it is newton per meter squared. There are other, many other units for pressure when you study pressure in liquids uh, and uh, air pressure. We will not be discussing those units here. <laughs> Pressure is directly proportional to force. This means that when force increases, pressure will increase as well. This is under the condition that the area is constant, the area doesn't change. And when the force decreases, then the pressure will decrease as well. So this is a directly proportional relationship. Let's look at these two blocks here. So the force that is exerted by this block on the surface is its weight because there's no other there's no external force nobody's pushing the block down the block is just sitting there on the table on the surface so the force is the weight and here on this side on the right side we have two blocks instead of one so the force will be two times the weight the force that is acting on this surface on the right by the two blocks is double the force exerted by the one block on the left note that the area of contact between the block and the surface is the same for both so since the force here is double compared to this, then the pressure on the right will be double as well. So higher force, higher pressure. Pressure is inversely proportional to area. This means that when the area is small, the pressure is high. And when the area is large, then the pressure is low. Let's look at this block. Now, these two are the blocks of the same size. They are exactly the same block, but one is positioned this way and the other one is positioned in a different way. Let's look at the area. So the force that is exerted by the block on the surface is exactly the same because the weight of the two blocks are the same. They are the same block. However, let's look at the area here. The area of contact between the block on the left and the surface, this is the area. Let's compare it with the area on the right. The block on the right has a larger surface area in contact with the surface. Therefore, the pressure that is exerted by this block here, since the area is larger, the pressure will be smaller compared to the block on the left where the area is smaller. Since the area is smaller, the pressure will be larger. And all this is under the condition that the force exerted is the same. The force has to be constant for us to make a comparison. Let's take a look at some applications of pressure in our daily life. So let's say there is a nail in between two pieces of wood. When, a pre when force is applied on both the pieces of wood from both sides, when we push the wood closer together, when, let's assume that the force applied is the same, of the same magnitude. So there is also a force applied by the nail, the nail, the head of the nail, as well as the tip of the nail on the two pieces of wood. So this force magnitude of the force here will be the same. 
Now let's look at the area. And let's assume the force is 5 newtons. Let's take a look at the area. First, let's look at the tip of the nail. So the tip of the nail here has a very tiny area. It's just one dot. It's a small area. When the area is small, the number that is divided by a small number here, the force value divided by a small number, we will get a large value for pressure. When the area is small, the pressure is high. Let's simply take a value. So let's say the area here is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter square. This is 0 0.1 uh, millimeter square. So let's say this is the area. And then the value that we get for the pressure is 5 times 10 to the power of 8 newton per meter square. Let's compare it with a larger area. So when we look at the other side of the nail, it is the same force here, same force, so let's assume 5 newtons as well. But now the area is much larger compared to this. So this is area is large. When the area is large, when we have a number divided by a large number, then we will get a small value here. So the pressure is expected to be smaller compared to the pressure at the tip of the nail. Now let's assume 1 times 10 to the power of negative 6. This is 0 0.1 millimeters, uh, 1 millimeter square. So 1 millimeter square. So the value of pressure that we get here is 5 times 10 to the power of 6 newtons per meter square. Now let's do a comparison. So same force on both sides, but the pressure at the tip of the nail, 5 times 10 to the power of 8, is 100 times greater than the pressure at the head, which is 5 times 10 to the power of 6 newton per meter square. So when we have a small area, there is a high pressure exerted. When there is a large area, there is a low pressure exerted. Let's look at other examples. So these are examples where the area is small, which generates a high pressure. The first example is the knife. So the tip of the knife is very sharp. When the knife is sharp, the area, the contact of area of the knife with the whatever you want to cut is very small. So when the area is small, then we have a large pressure. This enables us to use a knife or any sharp object to cut because of the high pressure exerted due to the small area. Another one is this ice skating boots. So ice skating boots, they have a blade at the bottom. The blade is to provide a small area so that there is a very high pressure exerted on the ice. And the reason for this is so that a small thin layer of ice will melt under the high pressure and this will enable smooth gliding. So the ice skaters can glide smoothly because there is a thin layer, a thin layer of ice that has melted and become water for smooth gliding. Now let's look at examples where there is a large area and low pressure. When we have heavy vehicles such as large lorries or tractors even, you know their tires are very wide. They're very wide tires. The reason for very wide tires is to provide a larger surface area when in contact with the road. When you have a large surface area in contact with the road, then the pressure exerted on the road will be small. This is why heavy vehicles have a very wide tire and they have many tires as well. So the total area in contact with the road is very high, which, gives the, which makes the pressure very low. And then we have handles. So this is a briefcase and the handle of the briefcase, if you notice, the handles are made to be thick as well, even with plastic bags. If the plastic bag is very, there is a very thin handle, you will feel a high pressure exerted on your fingers and you'll feel pain. But when we have a wide handle, then less pressure is exerted on the fingers and there is not much pain. The same goes to school bags or any, any uh, bag. The, the strap is thick. There is a thick strap so that the pressure exerted is low. So it will not be painful. That's it for the quick introduction to pressure, guys. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.